we've been in Cape Town now for a week and I have yet to get my camera out, really, aside from the first day with the penguins, and it's time to change that. I've been working way too hard behind a desk, like a good old-fashioned job, and it's time to go do this job I love. Let's go take some pictures. It's silent now, we don't say a word, we're just looking at each other. Tears in our eyes from the words we said, yeah, it kind of broke my heart. So, climbing into the car, and uh, I'm gonna go for a bit of a drive. I, I know there's obvious shots like Lion's Head and Signal Hill and Table Mountain, Camps Bay, and I'll probably get to those shots, but I kind of just feel like getting out and going for a drive and just seeing if I can find something maybe a little bit different. So I'm gonna drive maybe an hour away to a spot I think I found on Google Maps that might be cool. I'm not gonna film the drive because better safe then filming. I guess let's just cut to my destination. I actually don't really know where I am, only that I left the lights on on the car. I think I'm near a place called Kogel Bay, Kogel Bay Beach, uh, along the Whale Coast, and I'm, it's busy because, well, it's Sunday afternoon, and it is beautiful along here. But I've been stopping constantly and just checking out the scenes because along the coast here, there's just unreal seascape potential. And it's gonna be hard to show you from up here, but I'm just kind of just trying to decide if I wanna to go to the beach and then walk down or what I wanna do. I think I'm gonna drive ahead to the beach, find somewhere to park, and then walk. It's probably the safest mode of operation. But this is fantastic. Loving you is not so goddamn easy as you think. I'm trying my best. Actually, you know what? It looks like there's a path down here that goes right to the coast and maybe gets at some of these crazy rocks. So I'm gonna climb. It looks like there's some surfers in the water as well, which would be awesome. Best to hold on, but I feel myself giving. You know that we shouldn't keep it. If you guys know me, you know I love animals. Absolutely love them. There's baboons here. Yeah, I love baboons. They're just the cheekiest monkeys. Wow, look at this place. This is unreal. Really cool, there's a bunch of people in the water actually. I don't know if I'm able to get down here. I might have made the wrong choice, but the views are unreal. The seascape is just perfect. Unfortunately, no clouds in the sky today, but yeah, this is still just unreal. So beautiful. I, uh, I managed to do some rock climbing and get down to the bottom and it is beautiful, but maybe not ideal. Just because there's no real obvious foreground. And I think that maybe that's fine. Maybe I'll just sit here, hang out, enjoy the sunset, since the light's not probably gonna be great anyway, and just shoot a big, wide open hero shot with all of this. I'm having so much fun just hanging out here at this viewpoint watching surfers, looking out for sharks, and just, I don't know, just relaxing and taking in this sunset. Not a cloud in the sky, the weather's nice. Yeah, it's absolutely perfect right now. We're moving through the night like we're from a different star. Flying over streets and our broken hearts. But they can even touch us, we found a different beat Paradise is waiting and we bought the lead Ooh, getting caught in the mist is a minute they'll never get out of They're feeding the fears and the doubts Ooh, but we go and we run to the end and we run without shame
I do want to talk about composition before I switch lenses and start shooting. Just because you're taking a big wide open image doesn't mean you can't think about composition. So I have this big open image, but I still have things like leading lines. I th still think about things like the rule of thirds. I still think of things like having an anchor. And the way I'm gonna compose this shot, and maybe you'll be able to see this behind me, is there's these rocks leading that way. They should work as a really obvious leading line pointing right at the light that I'm hoping happens on the top of all these, uh, all these cliffs on the mountains in the background. And then you've got some rocks in the foreground as well. You've got a bigger rock over that way. And I think it will work. Leading lines and anchors and a big, beautiful backdrop. I am thinking that I'll probably try to do a long exposure selfie as well, putting myself way out there on the end of the rocks just to add some scale to this all. So I think it's time to switch lenses and start working on this. I'm sweating like crazy because I forgot my filters up in the car and had to run and get them. Let me walk you through what I'm doing quick. I'm trying the long exposure selfie and the way I'm doing it is I'm not setting an intervalometer today. What I'm doing instead is using the app, the Canon app. And so I'm composing my shot back here, then I'm opening the Canon app and then I'm remote control shooting the camera once I get out to the spot. So I get out, I stand on the rock, I like the composition, I like the pose, and then I fire the shot. And I think it's really working. Starting to get some nice light on these, these hills, it's a little bit hazy, but I think that's kind of adding to the mood right now. So yeah, this is coming out really nice, I think. The light's gone incredibly flat. It's gone, the sun's gone just kind of behind a cloud and some haze, it almost reminds me of Greece. It's exactly the same situation. And the light's gone just really colorless and dull. So I'm kind of trying to do something a little bit different and I was lining up a shot straight down here with the peaks off in the background and then almost perfectly a surfer just walked right into the middle of the frame and actually I left the surfer right in the middle of the frame which is way against all the rules of composition and why? I thought it looked the best. Don't be afraid to break the rules of composition if it looks better. tough climb. I don't know how I feel about the photos. I guess I'm gonna have to get them on the computer before I know. Do you know if I don't run and get hit by cars? I don't know how I feel about the photos. I think it's a case of I gotta get them home, see how they look, and then, uh, and then make a decision. But from a life perspective, that was awesome. That was so good. I mean, baboons, surfers, got the new drone up in the air. By the way, the new drone's name is Fido the Fourth. And even if the photos didn't come out un unbelievable or amazing or even good, that was just a good afternoon. And I'm looking forward to a lot more good afternoons here in South Africa. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.